Okay, here we've got another application using differential equations. So let's suppose you have the following scenario. So you take a 300 degree Fahrenheit pie out of the oven and let it cool off at room temperature. Let's assume that room temperature is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So after five minutes, the pie is 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and then your goal is to find the temperature of the pie as a function of time. Okay, good, and now here's a hint. So Newton's law of cooling says that the change of the temperature of an object is directly proportional to the difference in the current temperature of that object and the ambient temperature. So that tells us how to write down a differential equation immediately. So we can write down a differential equation as follows. So let's first of all um, introduce some notation. Let's say, let's let T be the temperature of the pi, and we know that T of zero is equal to 300. Great. And then, we know that the change in this temperature is directly proportional to the difference in the temperature and the ambient temperature. So I'm going to write this in some notation that you might see in a textbook where you're given uh, Newton's law of cooling. So we have T minus Tm. So that would be the difference in the temperature of the object and the temperature of the surrounding medium. So that's the ambient temperature. And now we need a proportionality constant. It might seem natural to use K, but often you see like negative K used for this proportionality constant. Great. So for our setup, we know that Tm is equal to 75. That's given. But notice, we don't know K. And in fact, K is a constant that is going to be related um, to the interaction of the pi and the room. And so in general, it will be a constant that's related to the interaction of um, the ambient space and whatever is cooling up or warming, or sorry, cooling off or warming up in that ambient space. Okay, so let's see. That means we have this differential equation, D capital T, D little t equals minus K, T minus 75. And so now notice that's a separable differential equation, so we can use separation of variables. So in fact, uh, there's no explicit dependence on our uh, little t in this case, so this is sometimes considered an autonomous differential equation. So here we have d capital T over t minus 75 is equal to minus k times d little t. Great. Now we can take the antiderivative of both sides, um, the left-hand side with respect to capital T, the right-hand side with respect to little t. Now properly that's not what's happening. You're taking the antiderivative of both sides with respect to little t, but you're using some consequences of the chain rule on the left-hand side. Um, so that's going to give us the following, the natural log of capital T minus 75 equals minus kT plus a constant. Okay, that's good, but that will tell us that T minus 75 equals E to the minus KT plus a constant, which equals E to some constant, E to the minus KT, which equals another constant, E to the minus KT. And I'll just replace um, our little constant C with a big constant C, and it's supposed to take the place of E to this constant, because that's still just a constant. Okay, good. Now, um, what we can do is write that T is equal to 75 plus C E to the minus K T. Good. Now we can impose our initial condition. So if we set T equals zero, we obviously get 75 plus C on one hand, and on the other hand we get 300 because that's some data that's given to us, which tells us that C equals 225. Okay. Great. So I'll clean up the board and we'll start from this point and um, work towards the end. 
Okay, so previously we had determined that this is a function that describes the temperature of the pi in terms of t, but uh, notice that we have uh, undetermined constant in this case, so we can use our other data point to determine that constant. So we know after five minutes, the temperature of this pi should be 200, which means if we plug in t equals five, we should be getting 200. In other words, we have this equation 75 plus 225 um, e to the minus 5 um, k equals 200. So I won't solve that in all of the details. I'll leave it to you to do that. But that will imply that k is approximately equal to 0 0.12. So that's our um, proportionality constant for the original differential equation. So that tells us that our final solution is given by 75 plus 225e to the minus 0.12t. Good. Now, just as a quick check to see if this makes sense, notice as t approaches infinity, <coughs> which would be like letting the pi sit out overnight or something. Notice that this term goes to zero because we have e to the minus some number times t, which uh, tells you that the temperature of the pi goes to 75, which is what you would expect.